drizzle. It's Yumbox, I think number five now. I haven't seen where this is from yet, but I have opened it. The little sticker thing says, Home of the Cotton Top Tamarind. And then it shows a, shows a picture. Very, very, very well drawn picture of the Cotton Top Tamarind. And let's see where that is. Colombia. This is gonna be really interesting. I've never tried Colombian food. Right off the bat, I see the word bacon, which intrigues me. These are, I'm gonna butcher this. Tocineta bacon chips. That's what they look like. There we go. I'm expecting these to not smell the greatest. Even though bacon smells good, it's just usually chips don't smell that good. No. It just smells like wheat. Like crackers or something. Well, not really like crackers. I don't know. It looks like a piece of bacon. It's really salty. If I were whoever made those, I would not describe that as bacon. It's just salt, like a lot of salt. Now, I was just gonna put that over there because it wasn't that great, but maybe it's one of those chips that's only good if you eat the whole thing, so here we go. That was a mistake. Oh. It tastes like an over seasoned, an over seasoned Pringle. I've never been the biggest fan of Pringles because the idea is good and the originals don't taste too bad, but they do kind of make me a little bit sick. And it's mostly the seasoning that they put on some of the flavors and stuff. So that was just torture. Here they are. Bacon and lime chips. Did it supposed oh. It's not salt. Next. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is this? Weird potato chip number three. We've got Riz Adas. Riz Adas? Riz Adas? Mayonnaise flavor. Now, little known fact about me, unless you know me personally and have like asked me my food preferences for some reason. I hate mayonnaise, okay? It's just disgusting. It's like eggs. It's like an egg sauce with other things in it. And it's like, ew, why? It just smells like potato chips. This is what it looks like. I'm scared. That was the pinnacle of why I hate mayonnaise. And just to entertain you guys, I'm gonna eat this entire thing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Why? The weird thing about that chip is that it goes from really bad to bearable to really bad. Honestly, I can understand if someone would like that. And this is coming from a mayonnaise hater. I think the main thing that I hate about mayonnaise is just the look and texture of it. I just think that's disgusting. Here's our next thing. It has a very, um, how do I describe this? It has a space monkey on it. And it says, Galetas Marutadad. I give up. To the book. Plantain cookies. I have no idea what that means. If you do, congrats to you, I guess. It said cookies, so I have high expectations. What is that? Oh, I got a double. Looks like a little miniature, um, kind of chocolate, one of those chocolate chip cookies that has like the other things in it that you get at like Chick-fil-A or something. I don't know, looks pretty good. It's a lot of cookie, and then some like raisin flavor or something. Honestly, not so bad. I would, I would eat that again. But, we have an entire bag of things to get through. These. They look like some kind of weird health snack, but 
Wait a minute, are these banana chips? I know they're plantain. Plantain chips. Which is what these are, but these are cookies. So these are chips. That flavor that I just experienced would be really weird in a chip. I'm not entirely sure that it's not banana. So that looks like a banana to me, but I don't know. Why is it salty? Why is that a thing? Why? It's my only question. It's not even like unbearable. It's just like, who sat down and thought that that was a good idea? Cookies? Good idea. Chip? Not so much. I just realized we haven't been rating any of these at all. So, bacon chips, three out of 10. Mayonnaise chips, three out of 10. Cookies, seven out of 10. Weird banana things, uh, four out of 10. Maybe, maybe three out of 10. 3.5 out of 10. This is the next one. Makoko. Is that is that supposed to be some kind of letter? Oh, is that another A? Makoko? Of course, as I expected, another wafer. I think this is like the third or fourth one. Not too bad. I'm gonna rate that um, a seven out of 10. It's like wafer and some kind of weird chocolate stuff. I don't really know how else to describe it. Pretty good though. We got the Bianchi bar here. It says caramel. Well, it says cal caramello. Cal Calmillo? I don't know. Plus money. Which, judging on the package, is some kind of nut. So, here goes nothing. Here we go. That looks really good. It's a little, it's a little tough, but it is nuts and caramel, so. That was honestly really good. I think the nut was a peanut. But yeah, those are really good. And these look good. True Lulu's. They're just true Lulu. Chocolores, which I'm guessing is just chocolates. Look pretty good. Not a chocolate. What? It's like this weird gummy stuff in the center of this. Maybe the, maybe the surrounding stuff is chocolate? Like white chocolate? I think so. They're really good though. Oh, they're all different flavors as well. Now we have what's usually the best part of the entire yum box. The yum bag. Usually, if there is a yum bag, it will tie the entire yum box together, the good or the bad, because it's got the candy. Look at all that. Ah! Looks like there's two pieces of each thing, so I'm just gonna take this. These are what we're gonna be trying. Got the Bon Bon Bum. Okay, some kind of sucker. And the Super Coco. I'm gonna try this one first because it'll take less time to finish. That's what it looks like. Looks like a little piece already broke off, which is actually kind of nice. It looks kind of weird. Oh, that's soft. That's caramel. I kind of suspected, but I wasn't sure. Mmm. When I said cocoa, it wasn't talking about chocolate. I'm just talking about coconut. As I said in a previous video, I do not like coconut. Well, let's hope I can wash it down with this, which honestly looks pretty good. And I immediately changed my mind. What is that? This has potential, so I guess we're about to find out. Honestly. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, and I don't remember what I last rated. I think it was this chocolate wafer thing. So, um, did I read this? 
I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, this is a uh, 9 out of 10. These are also 9 out of 10. This is 4 out of 10, maybe. I don't know. It wasn't very good. But someone who likes coconut would like that. Um, this was... It was an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. I think even though this, this was really good, these are actually my favorite. Just because they're so interesting and they're like chewy and chocolate at the same time. Um, yeah, that's everything. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.